got the yes I'm still alive and I have been working on this and it's completed it is available now on amazon.com it is the second part to the first book that we wrote the grammar book um, I don't know why I just referred to myself in the plural but the grammar book this is the second part this is a dictionary that goes hand in hand with the with the grammar book it's a uh, really in-depth though and it's available now on amazon.com I want to show you a sneak peek so here it is on uh, Amazon it's around $25 that's about the lowest as they'll let you let me go right here it's listed as 21 that's because uh, I buy a lot of books but let's look at the cover this is the back cover beautiful indigenous girl from Tamasula uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the other one because um, it has some photos and diagrams in it. I'm going to show you now. And uh, pause to read if you'd like to read it. Let's look, let's look inside. So this is what you're going to be getting. And uh, you know, some good pictures here too from, from, uh, from our region. This one's from Tamasula as well. Some in, in uh, traditional indigenous uh, clothing, same as on the cover. The cover is from uh, Tuxpan. It's one of the oldest depictions. Um, so here it is. It's um, the table of contents. So it has three parts, more or less. It has an introduction, which really breaks down um, about the region, some history, uh, defining the different variants within our region. The second part here kind of talks about how the dictionary was constructed. Then we just have orthography and phonology, which is just the sounds and the writing system, which is covered in the grammar. So it's pretty much the same. And then we have the dictionary. Now in total, it's about 334 pages, I believe. The first dictionary is the Mexicano to English section. And then we have the, uh, well, I'll show you. Before I do that, here's some of the maps and stuff that we have in here. Some of the ones, uh, that's why it's a little, cost a little bit more because um, I guess you gotta pay more for the colors and stuff, showing the different areas and explaining everything. So here's the Mexicano, the English section of the dictionary. As you can see, it has the first word, which would be our citation, Akash. Akash, read, a Spanish translation, Carizo, and then it has some citations from variants within the region. This is Guerra, and this is from a, a colonial source, one of the grammars from 1692. This is from Suchitlan, um, Colima, Acal, and this is from uh, Micho Costo Michoacan, Acal. So that's throughout this part, the Mexicano to English. You'll see that examples, how to use the word from other variants. So you can see how the word is used. Um, only variants through in our region though. Here we have the English to Mexicano section. Some quick abbreviation, quick explanations. And then the words, you just look up the word. For example, how do we say Adobe? Shamil, Shamil, Adobe. How do you say afternoon? Well, there's three different ways. Teoxlac, Teoxlac, Xacualispan. They're all used, the, 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 they're used the same. Afterwards, Santepan, and, and the list goes on. In the English to Mexicano section, there's over 1,324 entries. So that's over one, that's over 1,300 words. Just the English to Mexicano section. The Mexicano to English section has even more. And of course, there's a bibliography, so uh, you can, you know, get your get your read on and see the sources. Everything's cited in the Mexicano the English section. There's a lot of, uh, and all these words here that you find here are in included in the, well, all the words that are included in the grammar book are included in here. So they go hand in hand. 
yeah, so there it is there. It's a dictionary. If you got the first book, you'll definitely want to get this one to, to uh, enhance your uh, vocabulary and to, to just continue uh, continue learning. So feel free to share this. Um, buy a copy, buy your family copy, support support my work. I appreciate, I appreciate everybody's support. Um, I'm pretty much doing it alone, but for everybody. And uh, hopefully we can continue to, um, to bring our languages back and, and to speak in our languages and to think in our languages. This is really important. Yeah, so there it is there. So if you bought the first book, you want to get this one to enhance your knowledge, to learn more. It has a lot of very interesting uh, facts in there about the language. I worked really hard. I put a lot of hours. I haven't been on social media because I've been doing that. You know, we have to prioritize. For me, our language is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, that's my legacy that I give to my kids and uh, to my future generations that are going to come after me. And uh, this is the way I honor my ancestors. So what are you doing to honor your ancestors? Learn your language, no matter what that language is. If you can't learn your language, we'll learn the closest one to it and continue forward. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Please share this. Please uh, promote it. Shout me out um, because it's not really about me, but it's about the work and it's about the language. Nimitzaiwi memme, Pampadios.